What's the best luck you have ever had in your life? About 15 years ago I had to go to Vegas for a work thing. I had no extra money so I really was not excited about going. Being broke in Vegas is no fun. I was there for 3 nights. First night I decided that I would play in a $50 poker tournament. It would fill up the evening and that way I wouldn't gamble anywhere else. Bam. Took first place for $1,500. Being responsible I went and put $1,000 in my bank and kept $500 to play with. The next night, I go to a craps table with $200 and I go on for about a 45 minutes roll. This was at the Paris where they have the fire but which is a $10 bet that if you hit all 6 points it's 1000-1. I hit that over the course of the 45 minutes, and, if you know anything about craps, it becomes exponential as you press your wins. So starting with a typical $10 pass line and $20 odds and like $12 on a 6 or 8. By the time I finally 7 out I had $500 on each number and was hitting them over and over cashed out with $28,000. The final night. I did it again just went on a 30 minutes run. Hit another fire bet but since I was up so much I had started at a $25 minutes game. Another $18,000. I basically piled $50 into $46,000 which was more than my annual pay at the time. That will never happen again. I was a large outdoor concert and some dude walked up said, no way it's you, man. He then hands me my driver's license that I didn't know I lost somehow. A friend of mine lost his it in LA. Like 3 months later someone dropped it in his lap in Miami. He never found out who. Got hit by a speeding car when crossing a road. Cracked the windscreen. Did a flip and landed on the pavement nearby. Paramedics were worried I'd broken my neck. Several hours and rays later I walked out with nothing but minor bruising on my back. Different angle and I could've easily died. Not getting crushed or drowned in a farm accident. I was 16 and working in the packing house on a blueberry farm. I went out to the fields with a guy to pick up the berries. The truck didn't have a cab just a windshield. I was sitting on a fuel tank where the passenger seat would normally be. There was a large ditch full of water on the right side of the road. The driver went off the road into the ditch. I went into the water and the truck rolled over and came down on top of me. Somehow, I wasn't pinned or crushed and was able to find my way out. I used up a lifetime's worth of luck in that one incident. I won a $20,000 car with a $10 raffle ticket. A new casino opened up near me, so my girlfriend and I decide to go at 3am on a whim. She won $700 on a slot machine then I won $600 on a machine. We then proceeded to leave. Went to Canada at 19 cause it was legal to drink. Each put $20 in the slot machine. Within first few minutes, won over $800. Left and played pool rest of the night. Bought an ice cream, and won a free one. And I redeemed the free one, which contained another free one. My car broke down on a two lane highway in the middle of the Appalachians. 20 miles from the closest city and with no cell reception. The first vehicle around the bend was my grandfather who lived 3 hours away. He had randomly decided to go on a weekend trip to the mountains. From breakdown to being picked up was less than 5 minutes. Lost my college ed card. A replacement was $15 I had found out. I walked out to the rainy parking lot, determined to get through the rest of my college career without an id card, when I saw a folded, soggy, green square on the ground. It was actually a folded 10 and 5 dollar bills. Hey 15 bucks. Went directly to Chipotle. I lost my phone while we were laying pipe at work. Filled in the trench and then realized I had lost it somewhere in the 60 foot of trench we dug. Left it there overnight seeing as it was already dark and I couldn't hear it when I called it. Returned the next day with listening equipment. Took an extremely lucky guess on where it was and located it within 30 minutes. Dug 2. 1 stroke 2 FT down to find that the only damage was a small crack on my screen protector and a scuff on my otter box. Everyone including me had written it off as never to be recovered. 2 hours of my time when I figured it would take me a week to find it. When I was 5 or 6 my grandpa took me to the horse track a lot. One time he let me pick the 3 horses I thought would win first, second, and third. Needless to say, he won a trifecta. I don't remember the amount he won but I remember him lifting me up and kissing my cheeks over and over. I miss him every day. I was around 8, 
and was at a community center to see a play. After the play, they were hosting a raffle, so I got my grandparents to buy me a few tickets. Now the weird part, I won every prize. Every single one of them. I had only a handful of tickets and there were 100 plus people in the room participating. I ended up giving some of them back to the raffle people because it wouldn't be fair for me to get all of them. And can you imagine a young girl and her grandparents having to carry all these prizes out? It's unrealistic. Prizes were a giant stuffed bear, wine, bath stuff, more wine, more bath stuff, some chocolates, etc. I was flying economy to London last summer, and I had the flight attendants tell me to head up to the front of the plane. Lo and behold, the pilot of my flight was my cousin who I hadn't seen, or spoken to in many years. He told me to grab my carry-on, and that he would bump me up to first class for free, and holy crap was it fancy up there. <laughs> Fell on ice. Traumatic brain injury. Died three times. They told my wife I wasn't going to make it. Coma for three days. Still not dead. Second best was when my wife agreed to marry me 30 plus years ago. I found a $20 bill at the post office. Since I thought it was my lucky day, I bought a $10 scratch off lotto ticket and won $150. Go put it all on black on roulette. As a young, dumb teenager I was free soloing a small mountain without a safety harness. I was about 20 meters, 65 ft, off the ground when I reached what I thought was the top. Turned out the top was still going upwards, and the surface was smooth as a baby's bottom, with nothing to grab onto. I tried to descend, but got myself stuck. After a few minutes I couldn't hold on any longer, I lost my grip, and I fell. I dropped 5 meters, 16 featuring, and by chance 2 tiny trees, growing out from a crack in the mountain face caught me, and they did so perfectly, one under my arm, and the other right under one of my knees. From there I found my way down again, safe and sound. If it hadn't been for those trees, I could have been seriously injured, or dead as the ground underneath was littered with pointy rocks. I didn't use my luck to win the lottery, but it saved me from a real bad situation. I was once trying to get home from college and my car was on empty. I had one dollar left which wouldn't have even gotten me close to home. So being the smart person I am, I went into the gas station and bought a dollar scratch off lottery ticket. I wound up winning twenty dollars, filled up my car, and made it home. There was another time I was at the gas pump digging around in my middle console looking for change. A guy wearing a faculty badge from my college knocks on my window, and I roll it down a bit. He says, are you trying to get gas? And I replied, yeah, but I've got some change so I should be alright. He then drops a $20 bill through my window and says, use this, and walks away. I called out the window after him, are you sure? And he grumpily says, if I wasn't sure I wouldn't have given it to you, would I? Another time I was heading home again from college. I walked into the gas station. I put down my $3 and change and asked for it on pump 3. The gas station attendant asked where I was going, and I replied I'm just trying to get home. He took my change and said, go ahead and fill up your car, it's on me. This is like something out if a video game. Survived bacterial meningitis when I was 2. Everyone who gets it usually has to have limbs removed. But I ended up being part of a new drug trial and it saved my life and the only thing I've lost to this day as a result of it is a little bit of hair at the back of my head. That drug never came into circulation after that so it was my only chance to get it and I did. I would consider that very lucky. My mother gave me a very nice necklace. One morning I went to scratch my neck and I didn't feel it. I guess I didn't put the latch on properly and it fell off. So I got super bummed out because it was really nice. A few hours later I found it in my shoe. It fell down my shirt, down my pants, with a belt, and into my left shoe, which had been tightly laced. I got hit by a semi truck while driving 75 miles per hour down the highway, rolled 6 or so times and landed right side up in the ditch with not so much as a scratch on my, my fiancé's, or my friend in the back seat's body. Car was fricked though. 1am, Taco Bell, ordered a Dorito taco and a crunch wrap, ate both but my body wanted more, I jokingly reached into the bag, telling my girlfriend they're always a fry at the bottom, and there was a freaking cheesy gordita crunch in the bag, checked the receipt and was only charged for the two things, 
so awesome. I used to occasionally go to late night casinos with a mate what was pretty big on gambling and strippers. I don't like strip clubs. I always play low bet value roulette, with a hard limit I set before I go in, usually £20.40. Nothing went my way and I was cleaned out before 5 minutes passed barring one last 50p chip. I put it square on one number, which came in. Then I won again, and again. I don't remember much more, but I do remember walking into the kitchen the next day to find nearly £4,000 on my counterpoint most of it still in the foil envelopes the casino gets it supplied in. My fiance and I were at a casino for New Year's Eve, they did a giveaway at 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 a.m. to keep people playing longer. They made an announcement 5 minutes before the 1 o'clock drawing and I told my fiance to go enter. No charge and she wasn't gambling so why not. She won $1000. I was holding stock in Delta Airlines. Dal. Back in the late 90s, I was going to hold it for the long term but it skyrocketed and I made so much that I decided to sell my shares. But then it went up even more and I regretted it. Then I found out that when I tried to sell my shares I actually doubled my investment. Good day. It's amazing how many people do the opposite. Wow, that stock's doing super well. I've got to get in on that followed by crap. This stock's plummeting. I've got to sell congratulations. You just bought high and sold low. When I was 12 I was walking through the woods and got hit in the face with an arrow by someone who wasn't paying any attention to where he was firing. While this may not be lucky in itself, it hit the hinge of my jawbone. Half an inch in any direction would have been much more fatal. An inch up would have gone into my brain, and an inch down my throat. I consider myself lucky because I've walked through the woods and was never mistaken for a deer by a bow hunter. At a fancy charity ball, I bought 5 raffle tickets for $100. I put each ticket in a different bucket for different items. I won the Chanel Perth worth $1500. Then, I also won the David Yaman diamond bracelet and ring worth $2000. Same year, I got ticketed and towed for parking in my usual spot at work because on November. First the parking rules change for snow, I didn't know that. Cost me all afternoon and $400. That night, my friends and I went to play bingo with the old biddies at the church. I hit the jackpot bingo which was worth exactly $400. When I turned 16 and got my driver's license, a person mom used to visit in the nursing home gave me the almost new car that had been sitting in his garage for a year as a thank you for all the good things mom did for him. I forgot I had a midterm and missed the exam. Somehow ended up with a B on said midterm. Question mark? Professor 100% thought she lost your test. When I was in the second year of my unfinanced PhD, I met a Brazilian girl who was in France for her PhD. We met in a bar. Our PhDs had nothing to do with it. We dated for two years before she had to go back to Brazil in order to finish her PhD. I was crushed. Boom, my PhD advisor had just started an international project in Brazil, in her region. She sent me there to work, all paid for by the project. Now we have finished our PhDs, we're back in France, and she will be my wife in two months. I found $165 voucher in a slot machine in Atlantic City the morning I was leaving. Turned that into $2,500 on roulette table while waiting for my friends. This was a wild string of events that I still can't believe happened. I got a job in the video game testing industry. I got placed on a specific project that happened to have a point of contact that knew my favorite band personally. When the client came to visit, this point of contact mentioned my favorite band and my boss mentioned that I love them. I was then invited to fly out and hang out with my favorite band. I got a tour of their headquarters and got to spend a bunch of time with them for the weekend. The only thing I had to pay was my flight. It was easily the best weekend of my entire life and I'm now on a first name basis and VIP list with that band. In elementary school, we had a festival full of games and prizes. None of the games were really that interesting. Stupid crap like limbo and bingo. But one game had my attention. The cakewalk. A game with the promising reward of cavities. Yeah, I won. 10 times in a row. The lucky part was they kicked me out after going home with a huge stack of 10 cakes. Not a stack of 2 or 3. My trackpad on my MacBook broke. 
The Apple store called me a day later saying after they fixed it someone knocked my computer off the table and shattered the whole frame and it can't be fixed. I got a brand new Retina Display MacBook for free. Never owning a stock before. On gut instinct, I bought 186 shares of Apple in 1998. The Valentine's Day before my wedding a local jewelry store had a giveaway for a pearl necklace. Not that kind you sicko. I won and was able to wear it in my wedding a couple of months later. In 5th grade this kid Lee was trying to land a basketball in the net from over his shoulder. I have no talent for basketball, or sports, or being mobile, but I told him he was doing it wrong and took the ball from him. One attempt, swoosh, then I walked right off the gym floor like I do that crap in my sleep. It's been downhill ever since then. I had a similar thing happen while I was playing baseball, I was pretty bored standing at second base and the batter hit the ball in my direction. I was like I guess I'll just put my arm out and look like I tried to catch this and the ball went right into my glove and the team started cheering. The hardest part was pretending it wasn't an accident. One $2000 playing $1 2 poker, decided to call it quits and while I was waiting for my ride, won $1800 on a slot machine. I was once mere inches away from a crashing car as it flew past me. Once threw an apple out the car window at a traffic cone and knocked it over when I was 10. That wasn't luck. That was pure skill. Applied for a job that was way out of my league and the pay was more than twice what I was making at the time, and included pension, full benefits, all that good stuff. I showed up quite early for the interview, and had some time to kill. So I sat in the lobby reading some industry magazines. One article was about the top 10 threats to this industry, which I made a point of reading and soaking in as much as I could. Eventually I get called into the interview, and everything is going okay for the most part. This industry and role are both new to me, and I think it may have shown during the interview as a weak spot, but then I get asked what do you see as potential issues within our industry business. I was so excited I almost jumped out of seat, and went off in great detail about everything I had just learned. The interviewers were very impressed, and little did they know that had I been asked that exact same question just 30 minutes earlier, I would have had nearly nothing to say. I got the job. Story time. When I was about 13 I was playing this game with my 7 year old cousin where you throw a ring and try to get it to land on this stick. We played for so long and not once did any one of us land the ring on the stick. Then his mom called his name so he left to see what she wanted. When he was gone I took the ring and put it on the stick. When he came back I said look I landed it. He didn't believe me and asked me to show him how I did it and do it again, calling my bluff. I wouldn't back down so I took the ring and threw it and it landed right on the freaking stick. I was having a meltdown in my mind about how I just nailed it but I played it cool and turned around. Looked at him and just said like that. Went to war. Didn't die. You have spotted this beautiful tasty sea of bacon. You can have as much as you want as long as you subscribe in the next 22 seconds. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.